Hello my reading friends, welcome back to Purple Pebble. Today's story is Big Pumpkin, written by Erica Silverman, illustrated by S.T. Schindler. If you like reading with me, be sure to click the like and subscribe button. Once there was a witch who wanted to make pumpkin pie. So she planted a pumpkin seed. She weeded and watered, and after a while a sprout popped through and then a pumpkin grew, and it grew, and it grew, and then it grew some more. Soon Halloween was just hours away. The witch thought about pumpkin pie and bent down to take her pumpkin off the vine. Well, she pulled and she tugged and she pulled. First she pulled hard and then she pulled harder. But that pumpkin just said, Brat, said the witch. Just then along came a ghost. Big pumpkin, said the ghost. It's big and it's mine, but it's stuck on the vine. And Halloween's just hours away, said the witch. And she kicked that pumpkin. I am bigger than you and stronger too, boasted the ghost. Let me try. Hmm, said the witch. But she thought about pumpkin pie and stepped aside. The ghost bent down to take the pumpkin off the vine. Well, he pulled and he tugged and he pulled. First he pulled hard and then he pulled harder. But that pumpkin just said, Trat, said the ghost. Just then along came a vampire. Big pumpkin, said the vampire. It's big and it's mine, but it's stuck on the vine and Halloween just hours away said the witch, and she kicked that pumpkin. I am bigger than both of you and stronger too, boasted the vampire. Let me try. Huh, said the witch. Huh, said the ghost. But they thought about pumpkin pie and stepped aside. The vampire bent down to take the pumpkin off the vine. Well, he pulled and he tugged and he pulled. First he pulled hard and then he pulled harder. But that pumpkin just said, Dread, said the vampire. Just then along came a mummy. Big pumpkin, said the mummy. It's big and it's mine, but it's stuck on the vine. And Halloween's just hours away, said the witch. And she kicked that pumpkin. I am bigger than all of you and stronger too, boasted the mummy. Let me try. Hmm, said the witch. Hmm, said the ghost. Hmm, said the vampire. But they thought about pumpkin pie and stepped aside. The mummy bent down to take the pumpkin off the vine. Well, she pulled and she tugged and she pulled. First she pulled hard and then she pulled harder. But that pumpkin just said, Trat, said the mummy. Just then along came a bat. Big pumpkin, said the bat. The witch didn't say a word. She just looked at the ghost and rolled her eyes. The ghost looked at the vampire. The vampire looked at the mummy. They all looked at the little bat. And they started to laugh. I may not be big and I may not be strong, said the bat, but I have an idea. And the bat told them what to do. Huh, said the witch. Huh, said the ghost. Huh, said the vampire. Huh, said the mummy. But they thought about pumpkin pie and bent down to take the pumpkin off the vine. Ready, set, pull, called the bat. The bat pulled the mummy, the mummy pulled the vampire, the vampire pulled the ghost, the ghost pulled the witch, and the witch pulled the pumpkin. Well, they pulled and they tugged and they pulled. First they pulled hard and then they pulled harder. And snap, off came the pumpkin. Dread, said the witch. Whoosh, it flew and it flew and thud. It landed on top of a hill and thump, bump, thump, bump, thump, bump. It bounced all the way down to the witch's house. And when it got to her door, that pumpkin just said, Hooray for the bat, shouted the witch, and she hurried inside to make pumpkin pie. 
Hmm, said the ghost. Have some more, said the witch. Couldn't eat another bite, said the vampire. Fun party, said the mummy. Time to go, said the pet. Tread, said the witch, as she watched them all leave. Then she went right out and planted another pumpkin seed. The end.